Hello and welcome back to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. And this is the first time you've watched one of my videos. Please take a moment to click the subscribe button that's down by there and in the descriptions. And it's on the main channel also. And when you get to the main channel, if you want to click on the notification buttons, that way you won't miss a lesson because I upload every Monday at 7.30 Greenwich Mean Time, which is London time. With our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. So without further ado, let's have a look at what we've got today. We have got a photograph of a statue. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about the statue um, as we progress. Um, so let's have a look at the palette. I've got some of my media mix, which is there. I got some liquid clear, which is there. I'll talk a little bit more of them as I progress. If you haven't seen that before, please pop along to www.cli5art.co.uk and um, you'll see these for sale in the shop. You certainly will. I'll explain how they work in a, mo um, in a momento. And um, I've limited myself to some colours and I've limited myself to brushes. So I've only got a few brushes there, which I'm going to attempt just to use those. I'm just going to put them in a little bit of water just to soak up a little bit of moisture. This is always easier using a damp brush rather than a, um, a dry brush, especially with acrylics. I've got my palette set out there. I've got a little mister bottle which I use just to mist down my palette and over the tops of the paints to stop them drying out. Mister bottles are available in the website, um, in the shop. So I've got some black and I've got some raw sienna, I've got some burnt umber and I've got some um, titanium white. That's it. That's all the colours I'm going to be using. So hopefully um, I might add a little bit of blue. Actually thinking about it, I think I might add a little bit of Prussian blue to my palette. There we go. Let's add a little bit of Prussian blue to the palette because that is Mars black. Mars black and Prussian blue is going to make a nice Payne's grey. So we might be able to use that for the background. There you go. Simple as that. Now, I'm going to paint this loose style. Um, I'm going to make this drawing available on the website. So you need to pop along to the website and go to the di digital download section and that's going to be available there if you want to use that as a tracing. I've taken the liberty of just drawing that onto a canvas. I've coated it with uh, a coating of gesso with raw sienna. Um, so I've tinted the canvas and it's a 10 by 8. Okay, so let's get straight on to this painting. First of all, I'm going to pick up a um, half inch short flat. I'm just going to give them a little shake and put them there. I'm going to pick up some Mars Black, get some Mars Black over there, a touch of Prussian Blue to it. There you go. If you want to see what type of grey that makes, just put a little bit by there, get a little bit of titanium white, and you should see it makes like a nice blue black. There we are. It's a Payne's Grey, in other words. So it makes a nice, nice, um, nice grey. So I'm going around and I'm going to paint around my darks first. There we go. Now this um, particular statue, and it is a statue. The reason I chose this statue um, is because it's got no features. If you if you look at it, there's it's a marble um, statue cut out of pure marble. So there's no pupils or anything like that to worry about. All you got is just the the features of this person and I meant to find out who he was and I completely forgot. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to go around with some black. Now what you could do, you could um, paint your canvas black and you could use chalk to um, go ahead and draw this out if you wanted to. That's what the old masters used to do. Jason Bowen and myself went to London recently and um, we were going around the National Gallery, the Tate Gallery and um, the Portrait Gallery in London. This was actually taken in the, the um, Natural History, it wasn't the Natural History, this was just the, um, the uh, Where was this actually taken? I can't remember where it was. It was in one of the museums anyway. 
think it was in the, the main museum there. The, um, Of the name of it. <laughs> I'm picking up a little bit of my medium mix just to add instead of water. The National Museum, I said. The National Museum. <laughs> oh dear me, it's been a long day today. And Jason and I were uh, actually playing with a torch, lighting statues from different angles because I took a torch to the museum with me. And you might be wondering why I took a torch to the museum with me. Well, the reason is because you can go quite close with a torch and then you can look at brush strokes and things and you can see um, how these artists like Turner and Monet and Renoir and that actually use the brushes and they get the brush strokes. And it's, it's, it's quite eye-opening actually, actually, it really is. good to me. I think so. Let's get a little bit of fluid. I'm trying to go, I'm trying to paint this as loose as I can actually. I've been practicing with watercolours and, and gouache quite recently and um, was introduced that uh, in London and I found it really um, eye-opening and really therapeutic as well. So I'm going to be talking a little bit more about watercolours. I'm not an expert, don't pretend to be an expert in watercolours. Um, I'm just learning myself actually. I'm, I'm on that path of discovery as, as far as watercolours are concerned. I'm just mixing some more black up. So it's quite dark there. Um, I've got another dark spot just there as well. It's looking good. Okay. Got a bit of a dark spot there. Just trying to use one brush so far. I mean, as, 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 as I say that, I'm just switching over and add a little bit of white to that colour. Just get a little bit of a grey tone. Playing around with some tones, so I'm going to wash that off very quickly. Let's get some raw sienna, some burnt umber, I'm looking at this painting, I'm going to have to put some white to it. I want to get it as close to as I can. As I said, we were going around and we were lighting up, <laughs> lighting up um, all these marble statues and stuff. And um, it's not far off. We were lighting up all these marble statues and things, and um, with the torch, and we took some really nice, um, took some really nice um, photographs. Of all these wonderful things, and they are wonderful. I think that somebody's actually cut this out of pure marble, a block of marble. Wow, oh, that's amazing, really, isn't it? If you think about it. And one of the reasons I've decided to have a go at uh, this statue. Because what was, a, a few of you have asked me for um, some portraits. Do I do portraits? Well, I don't actually do portraits, but I think picking a subject like this because it's got it's only got features. It's got no detail in it. It allows you to to be loose and free. Let's get his, let's get his urine, his urine is, uh, urine is there, there you go, and 
Now, when I, I did a um, I did a lesson um, with watercolors and gouache, and what I said in that lesson was, don't worry about the result. You, what we're looking for here is a, a, a loose a loose style. We want to get some sort of information in here, but it's about playing with colours, building up layers, and trying to get some sort of a a likeness to the photograph that we've got and we work into. So it's a, it's a play on light and dark. And I knew when I took this um, particular lesson on that this is, was going to be a bit of a challenge. And I think it could be a bit of a challenge for yourselves as well because this is this can be as long a lesson as you want it to be or as long as a painting as you want it to be. You could spend ages on this if you want to put a load of detail in but the, the goal here it's not so much about it's not so much about detail, it's more about learning um, colours, tones, lights, looseness of brush strokes. You do something like this, take yourself out of your comfort zone and you'll be surprised at the end of the day what you can accomplish and what you can achieve by doing so. We've had a wonderful trip in London. And at the moment I'm just building up some tones. There's a little bit of black in there. I'm trying to smooth down my edges. This is all underpainting at the moment. A little bit of concentration. Just playing around between different colours, looking at where these lights and darks live basically. Not worrying too much about uh, the eye at the moment. Just playing that in with a little bit of white, just getting a bit of light in there. Bit of light here. Just building up in blocks. Thinking of blocks of colour rather than blending too much. Let's get a bit of raw sienna in. got the opportunity to um, get yourself over to London then I highly recommend that because it's a wonderful um, city to visit with loads of um, art and museums and just culture really there's so much history there It's <laughs> going in a bit light today. Just a tad light. We find this as it dries. Look at the 
it soon. light think about light than that when you're doing this so we get his get his nose his nose is quite dark get a bit of burnt ember Place some white and um, some lighter color on top of that pin number in a second just to add a little bit of dimension to it. As it dries, I'm going to put a pin number over there now. I'm going to add a little bit of black to it. A little bit of blue, blue just to, to cool it off a touch. It's kind of, it's like a, a, a bluey brown type of shadow there. And there's another line coming in there like that. Got another fold coming in there. A shadow coming into there, virgin that into that. It's a little bit darker down there. Bring a bit of raw sienna to the side of that, and then touch of white. I think the man has just fallen off, so we'll put him on the pallet for then and go to sleep. <laughs> just be loose with this. The brush is quite dry at the moment. Okay, so we want to go in a little bit lighter now. I want to define. I want to find his lip there. You know, a bit of light there, and that's quite light down there. So let's go back into this raw sienna colour. And a bit of that um, dark colour to get a couple of those swirly marks like this. This is starting to dry now, so we can add a little bit of colour on top of that. What we're looking for is a bit of a, a mottled effect. That's what I'm trying to find is that mottled effect. darker colour there then, maybe a little bit darker than that, it's under that eye. Back into this lighter colour now and just lightly dragging over the nose area. Some of it is still a little bit wet, but we'll get there. The art of this is not to rush it. Don't rush it. Just enjoy it. Just feel the process. Just look at colours, look at shapes, look at where the light is um, is falling. What 
what we're looking for. We're not looking at detail as such there at the moment. What we're looking for is just the shadows and colors. We can put, we can put highlights in and darks in and a, 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 as we progress with it. So we can put a little bit of dark there and there's another bit of dark falling there. And it's coming in and it's quite, it's quite dark in there. So we need a bit of that black now in there. But it's not black black. It's not black black. It tends to all merge. It's like as if it's all merging into one, there's no. There's no actual line there, so we're gonna try and find the a light because there's a lost edge there. I'm still only using one. This is my second brush, I think I've used so far, so that's pretty good. Don't go worry if you go over the black like that, because we can paint that back in. I really, really um, think that if you practice, go out to your comfort zone, really have a go at it. Was you've got to you've got to push your limits. This is why I'm, I'm learning watercolours. Watercolours has, has been my nemesis for a, a number of years. And um, it's very important that you, you keep pushing yourself um, out, out of your comfort zone. Because if you don't, you're never, ever, ever going to improve. You're never going to improve. And improving is something you really need to do. Um, otherwise, you know, we, we just paint the same and, and we don't want to paint the same as mm -hmm. our nature as, as artists are is that we don't want to paint the same. We want we want to be we want to paint that next um, work of art, that, you know, that next um, masterpiece. And, and it is a masterpiece for us. Every 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 work, every every painting you do should be your own masterpiece. It should be better than the last one you did. always strive to be to be better than what you are life's a struggle it's always art just trying to find some I'm just going to finish the top of the head off there now. This is quite strange when you when you painted something like this and there's there's no eyeballs and things. <laughs> it's it's, it's um, it can be quite disconcerting really because you want to you want to start painting in detail eyebrows and and stuff. But when you when you're painting something like this, um, you, you're prevented from doing that because it it doesn't exist, and you don't start putting things in really. That, that are not there because if you want to start putting eyebrows and stuff in um, <laughs> it's not going to look right because it's not on the on the photograph and you're going to be thinking well, what am I doing wrong well you're not doing anything wrong you're just over detailing things there you go just going to change my brush I'm going to go into a smaller um, filbert brush. This is a, like a zero or one, zero one, yeah, zero one filbert brush. I'm just going to make a light color because I want to put this eyebrow in down there like that. Now 
nearly white nearly white this this bit is here now it's nearly pure white there you go I'll just block that in I'll just give him a a gorish looking eye now <laughs> He's getting there. I'm going to get a bit of white, maybe a bit of Prussian blue, just a small smidge. I'm just going to blue a shadow. I want a blue shadow. Um, just on the, I mean, that's his bottom lip. So we need to get his. Top it in place there. Concentrating a little bit now. Blending that brush, just using the very tips of the brush just to break down that that edge. white I should say not light <laughs> because it's blown out basically what's happened there is the camera is um, zoomed in onto that light and it's out of trouble with the exposure settings so what it's done is it's it's just gone oh I can't understand what I'm seeing so I'll just make it all white but that's not a white color it's actually um, it's actually like a blue cast there. Changing the brush, going back to that little filter brush now. Again, playing with light colors. Just going to get this done down there. This is a study of a marble statue or bust of a smart marble, marble bust bust <laughs> no it's not a full statue how far do we take this we don't know. When are you happy with it? Well, only you can, only you can say when you are happy with something. So I'm just going to spend a little bit of time now just around on this year, year. I'm just going to just put in a little bit of detail. I'm just going to darken up section there with a little detail brush. I don't mind if this is not correct to the drawing or the painting. It's not about perfection. I 
keep I keep saying this, and and I get pulled up about it sometimes. What do you mean it's not about perfection? You know, if you've been how long you've been painting? You've been painting for X amount of years. You know, you should be able to um, get perfection now. And um, I dare say, yes, I can get perfection in my own work. But what's the point of me sitting here and preaching and telling you what you can do, what you can't do, when the person that is the most important person um, on, on, on the video is yourself. You've tuned into the video to learn and there's so many people that um, impose their own um, ways of teaching um, and yes this is this is uh, this this could be could, uh, construed as another way of somebody teaching you their their methods but what i want to try and show is i want to get you painting my goal in in all my videos really whether they're designed for children or whether they're designed for specific adults whether they're designed for people that have never picked up a brush before um, the way I, 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 I'd like to approach things is that I want you to have a go and be proud that you've done that and it's, 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 your, it's your, your painting at the end of the day, not so much mine. Well, I'm talking too much now and I've lost the definition on that year a bit, so you know, I'm going to stop playing with that and then I'm going to let that dry a bit. Oh, I put my hand there. Up. See, that's what happens when you've got a dirty hand mark. There we go. Let's get my little brush again, my little detail brush, because I just want to go in and I got a, a line of black to do. Now this is not a mouth. This is just a chisel mark to represent a mouth. So. Let's get in up there. Put a nice deep shadow there. This is really dark. Really dark there. Enjoy your own work. Don't let anybody tell you what you're doing is wrong because unless you ask for unless you ask for criticize uh, criticism, unless you ask for your pictures to be um, looked at and, and openly criticized by someone, like myself say, then you understand you've got to understand that What you've got to understand then is that you are opening yourself up for criticism. So you need to learn by what people tell you. Don't get upset if people say to you, well, you know, it's got to be done this way. It, you know, you need to put color there and um, the sky's wrong or that tree doesn't look quite right. And, and I've, and I've criticized people's work before, um, openly criticized because they've asked me for help. And um, what what they've what's happened is they've got really upset because I, I'm 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 honest with them, and that is a bit of pill to swallow if you're not prepared for for open criticism. I'm trying to paint something that should take. A couple of hours in a short space of time is not easy, to be honest with you. So using the brush and a mixture of colour, a bit of raw sienna and a bit of that blue white, just to get a little bit of that. 
the leafness into that egg. And we are, we are getting there. We are getting there. And I'm about 30 odd minutes in. Quite happy with the result that I've got so far. Um, I'm mixing a bit more white now to the mix to get some just define some shapes Have a bit of that Prussian blue and a little bit of that white. Oh, no. Definitely pick up that. Finding the shapes, a little bit of colour. Don't forget that um, acrylic paint dries at least at least two shades darker. Taking the excess off my brush and just. that in there like that. A bit of this black really fine in this edge. Mm -hmm. I'm getting quite quite happy with the um, with the result at the moment. I want a bit of oops Let's get a bit of raw sienna. Let's get some white. So I'm, I'm, I'm going progressively lighter now. Progressively lighter now. Okay, my Molly's barking up there. Sounds like my wife is um, running the vacuum cleaner around. She doesn't like that. So the trip we had in London was um, was a really good trip, in fact, because um, we've seen some wonderful sights, and um, I'll put the videos in the iCards for you to have a look at. That black's just about dry there now. I need to get. I'm just going to get a. Bit of this blue light, not light enough. I want it quite light. Bit of that in there. Bringing this light in again. So I'm going to play between the couple of different size brushes now. I'm going to go into this detail brush. I want to try and find this eye lid that's there like that. Trying to be as loose as I can be without losing too much. I, I don't want to put a lot of detail in, but I got to get it looking 
sort of correct. And I think what I'm going to do is just darken this side of the nose area now. Switching over to my little detail, my little vibration. Trying to lose that edge. Brush that down helps sometimes just to soften up an edge, um, works really, really well. And I'm just going to darken that area a touch more, getting some pure black, and just refining that shape. Tapping the brush in, picking up a bit of oh, I got a brush in my mouth. Picking up a bit of white just on the tip of this brush now. Just tapping that in. on the lights now. I need to bring some virtually white now, virtually white light. Virtually light, white light now. So white, it's pure boring on the scene. <laughs> it's so white, it's bordering on obscene. There you happy with that so far I think I'm yeah I think I am we could put some detail of work in if you wanted to um, I try not I'm trying not to do that I'm trying to avoid detail in work at the moment Just done it and just wet my brush to touch just to get rid of that 
sharp edge. I'd like some sort of a harsh shadow down there. And some pure white on the tip of my brush and just emphasizing some of that. Again, we need to Give it some of this Prussian blue again. Just try and pick up a few. Try and pick up a few of these little nuances. actually draw in or paint in all the beard itself what we're trying to do is just pick up a bit of the light that represents that like there's a, there is light catch in there like that you can do the same again with the dark color so mix in a little bit of burnt and burn. A little bit of that touch of that black just to get some. I need to go a bit darker. I need to go a bit darker. It's definitely darker in there. Me a little brush, damp brush. in a second. We're starting to fiddle. When you start to fiddle, that's when you start overworking things. So it's, it's important to know, as he says, as he continues, when to actually stop and when to just do a little bit more fiddling. <laughs> and I never know when to stop. There's so many artists are the same. Oops, I got black and white on there and I didn't mean to have white on there, I meant to have a bit of black on there. Yes, we never know when to stop. That's that's the downside of being an artist. I'm beginning to like the light. I'll tell you what I haven't done. I haven't put um, Lighter areas there.
I think I'm nearly nearly done. I think I, I think I, if I if I do any more, I'm going to spoil it. I'm sure. So what I've got to do now is just make a couple of adjustments. And then I'm going to call it a day, I think. So I just want to get some black up into this top corner. I'm just going to nice sharp. There. It's always annoying when you you start thinking, oh, I gotta put something with a shadow in there. Shadow down there. A bit of light. We need a bit of light. We need a bit of light, life. We need a bit of light there. On there. Let me get some of this. detail marks. What are we looking at? We're looking at 53 minutes of non-stop painting. So I think if you'd like to press the subscribe button which is just down by there or you can have a look in the descriptions if you want to. Um, go along to the main page as I've said and um, click the notification buttons because I upload every Monday and um, leave a comment and like comment and subscribe and all that other stuff and thank you very much for actually joining me in the studio today where I try to paint away the stress of everyday life and um, please don't feel as if this is beyond your abilities um, because it's always best to push your own boundaries and if you can do something like this then actually painting a portrait is easy so I got it to where I want it to be and it took me at least another hour and 50 minutes. It could have taken me four hours before I was satisfied. But all I did really was keep working on the same principles and building up, building up the shadows and the highlights, putting a little bit of detail in. So what I'm going to do now is leave you with a final picture of this and please, please, please just keep at it and enjoy the process. And um, so, for myself, on this wonderful day here in Wales, where we've just painted away the stress of everyday life, thank you very much for joining me. Please click, click the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Nice. And don't forget to click subscribe.